bodied me. Baz, but oof. I had to come out for the last match of Boise, you know? I feel it, dude. This is like the finale. You know what's been bodying me? That curry chicken I just ate, dog. Like, I don't know if you saw me on, on I don't know if you saw me on the webcam, but I was I was chowing down. Oh yeah, you you were I ate the whole thing. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna explode. But here we go. Raiga fighting off against Fury's Falcon. Now Fury, I always like the I, I, I always hype this guy up. I feel like he's been like the uh, Nick C replacement ever since Nick C kind of like stopped coming to Xeno for Smash 4. He's actually here today. Just you wanted to come for the finale. Yeah. But uh Fury's been on the up and coming. I feel like he's another player that's improved so much, just like that. You know, he's been improving that down throw to me. I mean, don't really not, not the hardest thing in the world like, to connect, I guess, but Word. still, he got it. He got yo, the grab. Yo, it's almost like how like in F Zero, Falcon like the title of Captain Falcon gets passed down. I don't know if that's spoilers for anyone intending to read the manga. How dare you? Yeah. How dare I? No, but uh, yeah, but, like, it's like Nick's team, but now he's going to have to give it back for a win ultimate disaster. Or they'll fight for it. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Either way, Ryga fighting off against <laughs> Fury. He walked away from that tilt. That was, that was sick. <laughs> I like it. He looked at these buttons. He was like, just say no. Yeah. Just get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> see, you can move him if you pull the chair. <laughs> Alright. We're going back into this match. And we're going back into Raika completely we're, we're, eating we're, me. We're not going back into that match. That match has just been obliterated. We gotta go. No, hold on. I gotta, there it is. I gotta I gotta send a tweet real quick. Letting, <laughs> letting people know. I keep forgetting the tweet that hey, I'm commentating at Xeno and people just don't even realize that this is happening right See, now. See, I have I have like beyond cursed luck. If I start yeah. the tweet while I, while I have the headset on, I'll never get a chance to, to actually press the button. So I do it. I feel it's in the Three, hours. Hours. So we're going into game two. It was a very grim scene for Raika, but he is opting to stick with the Marth. Curious, as we have seen him pick into multiple characters so far with his time on stream, and presumably throughout the bracket tonight, he switched into Bayonetta, which allowed him to get a win on Dill, and we saw him also switch to Cloud, which did not work out for him against King Arth, but I feel like either of those characters could also offer a bit of help in this situation, as Fury has been able to run wild, and this Marth is he's just getting the job done, but... I don't know, man. He's, he's got to feel a little more confident. Maybe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Say words. I was, yeah. I was trying. <laughs> I was distracted. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so Falcon's off stage, and, and now he's back on. Jumped onto that platform. There could have been an opportunity for Raya to be doing a phenomenal job of just keeping him off there, not allowing him to get any sort of safe control whatsoever. Very unorthodox after to boost. Do it. He went for a second one? He's been going for that a lot tonight, I've noticed. And if I remember correctly, Fury has no issue with using Raptor Boost just to, to do it. But, I don't know, man. If he does it about seven or eight times, it'll work out. But if you back air, sometimes that's all you need. And Fury asserts his dominance in this set further and further. I, I find it... Almost impressive that Raiga has struggled to end out stocks with this mark. He's done a great job with being able to pressure his opponents, and he can he kept Fury at the ledge for quite a significant amount of time. I respect that up air. I, the reason I respect it is because it could have been a potential edge guard against Raiga. A potential gift could have happened. He died for it, so you know he's, yeah. he's got to come back into the second stock, uh, arm swinging, you know. I mean, given how Fury faces things off with Falcon, like ending out the stock of the percentage he was at is not not bad at all, especially while he does maintain the percentage lead up. Ooh, looking for that up because he wants that knee conversion afterwards. Yeah, he's looking to just move on, get going, fight the winner of Ralphie and Dell. Very greedy forward smash coming out from Braga. Fury's gonna take that all the way. Not to the blast zone just yet, seeing a 95%, one down air away from being sent into out of the tournament. Oh, he's deep. I mean, he's coming back. That was deep. Caught the jump out of shield. Raiga's coming back with a vengeance. Oh, that could have been an opportunity for a punish. See the Raptor is coming. Please. Big punish. As I'm off stage, he's caught by the Falcon Dive. Good tech could have easily turned that into something. Another tech, but too low. What? He dropped it. What? And Raiga's final Smash 4 performance is going to be ending out fifth place. It's Thank not you. a bad run, but... A bit questionable, I feel. I, it, man, he was just right there. He, I think he was hoping to like maybe catch him a little bit lower and maybe just go for like a 
ended all spike, but then Fury was just too high in the air, so he just kind of drifted off to his death. Yeah. Maybe he thought he had a double jump as well. It could have been not the thing.